Here's how to withdraw your buying power on Robinhood. So if you're on your main page, like Robinhood.com, your investing tab, uh, you're going to see your buying power down here. And if we click on this to drop it down, you're going to see what your buying power is made of. So that individual cash is what you're going to be withdrawing from, but you may not have all of that available to you. So let's take a look at what is available to withdraw. We're going to go to our account drop down and then go down to transfers. Inside of transfers, as you scroll down, you're going to see available to withdraw. And so this is the individual cash that you have available to withdraw. So of your buying power, this right here is the amount that you can actually take out. Now, this is basically uh, dictated by all the cash that you have on your account that's been settled. So if you have any trades or any transfers that are already happening, you might see more cash available than is actually available to withdraw. So you may have more buying power than what you can withdraw from your account. Um, and then also, depending on what your buying power is made up of, if it's just your individual cash or maybe it's also some of that margin, et cetera, um, there's only certain things that are available to withdraw, which would be the available cash. And so that is this right here. Uh, you can see on your transfers page. So this amount, when you go to set up a transfer, when you go to transfer money, it'll show up there too, what you can withdraw. And you just simply set up a transfer from your uh, Robinhood account to your bank account. And that's what you can withdraw. And that's how to withdraw your buying power, or that's how to figure out what you can withdraw from your buying power on Robinhood.